Are you thinking about moving to Vancouver, BC, or you've already been here for a long time, but you've always wondered what makes Vancouver so special? Maybe you're not quite ready to pack up your house for sale just yet, but before you make any decisions, you want to be sure that Vancouver is the right fit for you. And whether you can handle this mild, often rainy climate, and if the city's amenities meets your lifestyles, in this video, we'll cover all of that and more, giving you the best possible picture to ensure that your move to Vancouver is the right move for you. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Vancouver and its surrounding areas, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and tap that bell for notifications. That way you'll be the first to know about all the happenings in Vancouver. My name is Ken Wong and I get texts, call and emails daily from people just like you, whether you're moving in six days or six months. Please feel free to reach out to me via phone, text or email, or even schedule a Zoom call. The information you need is in the description below. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth transition to Vancouver, just as I've helped countless others. My family and I have lived here for years, and we love everything there is about the area. But we also know that Vancouver isn't a perfect fit for everyone. So in this video, we'll weigh the pros and cons to help you decide if moving here is the right choice for you. One, Vancouver's climate is an important reason as to why most people move here. For most of the year, it's both mild and comfortable, allowing you to enjoy the outdoors without extreme weather conditions. Yes, it does rain quite a bit, but the temperate climate means no harsh winters and only rare bouts of snow. For those moving from places with extreme cold or intense heat, Vancouver offers a really refreshing change. Plus, if you ever want to enjoy some sun and warmth, a short drive to the interior of BC, such as Kelowna, or even a quick flight down to California is all you need. Secondly is its outdoor recreation. Vancouver is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether it's hiking, biking, skiing, or simply enjoying a day at the beach, there's something for everyone. You can explore urban trails like the Grouse Grind or head to the North Shore Mountains for more challenging hikes. Then there's Stanley Park with its seawalls, offers stunning views of the city and the ocean. In the winter, Whistler is just a couple of hours away, providing world-class skiing and snowboarding. If water sports are more your thing, the city's beaches and nearby lakes are perfect for kayaking, paddleboarding, and more. There's always something happening in Vancouver. If you're into arts, Vancouver has a vibrant cultural scene with theaters, galleries, and live music venues. For foodies, the city's culinary cuisine is really second to none offering a diverse range of cuisines from around the world. Whether you're into high-end dining or casual eats, Vancouver has something to satisfy every palate. Now on to the cons. One of the biggest drawbacks of living in Vancouver is the high cost of living, particularly when it comes to housing. The city consistently ranks as one of the most expensive in the world with the average home prices well above national average. Renting isn't cheap either, and the cost of everyday goods and services can add up quickly. If you're moving from a less expensive area, the sticker shock can be significant. And if you're moving from the US, you're going to find out that not only does the Canadian dollar buy you a lot less internationally, but the housing prices are much higher than probably where you came from. Number two is the rain. While some people love Vancouver's mild climate, others find the frequent rain to be really a downside. The city experiences long stretches of overcast skies, especially in the fall and winter months. If you're someone who craves sunshine, the gray, drizzly weather might be a challenge. However, if you can embrace the rain, you'll find that it adds to Vancouver lush greenery and unique charm. Next is the traffic. Vancouver's growing population means that traffic and congestion can be an issue, particularly during rush hour. The city's roads and networks are well designed, but the increase in vehicles has led to long commute times and busier streets. Public transportation is an option, but it can be crowded, especially on popular routes. If you're used to quieter, less congested environments, this might take some getting used to. The city is currently working to increase its public transport. Due to the high demand for housing in Vancouver, finding a suitable place to live can be challenging. Competition for rentals is fierce and homes sell quickly, often for above asking price. If you're planning to move here, it's important to start your housing search early and be prepared to act quickly. All right, this wraps up our overview of what it's like to live in Vancouver. 
Whether you're drawn here by the city's natural beauty, vibrant culture, or outdoor lifestyle, there's a lot to love about this place. But it's also important to be aware of the challenges, like the high cost of living and rainy climate, and to ensure that Vancouver is the right fit for you. If you're considering making the move, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help you every step of the way.